Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Ratko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Taurus uh, Sun, Moon, and also Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, January, not January, it's February. Uh, February 7th up until February uh, 13th, uh, 2022nd. And uh, should you wish to skip this draw for your uh, star sign and move right ahead to the reading itself, you can use the timestamp in the description down below. Uh, other than that, uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, guys, and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads, nor uh, as well a uh, live streams. All right, so uh, let's go for the draw. Uh, the first card that you do Taurus have that is going to be the uh, the Emperor followed by the second one that stands as uh, the Sun card uh, moving next we have uh, the Two of Cups followed by the fourth card in your spread which is the Knight of Swords and the final card of your spread, that is going to be the Magician. Okay, so these five cards, but I do want to draw one more card for the Knight of uh, for the Knight of Swords. So I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this individual and the card for them is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we do have these two. They do form active enemies. So uh, let's check out how this is going to play out into your uh, spread coming up next right now. All right, Taurus, so you can see your spread on the screen and right off the back uh, here. What made huge impression, at least to me, are uh, these two cards that we do have here, which uh, it's a predisposition uh, for a huge romantic venture, especially should you be single. Um, it's just a romantic venture that's I don't, I don't know even how to put it into words, it's just of happiness, okay? But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when we dive into the scrutiny of the reading itself. Just so you know that you, if you are, should you be single and you really are craving for love, be on your lookouts um, from the start towards the middle of this week. Other than that, for already uh, birds in love, uh, these couple of cards just only says that you are going to grow in happiness exponentially. And should you have any problems in between, each other then those problems are to be not exactly resolved but maybe relinquished it is should i say i mean they're gonna stay there but you're gonna pay no uh, uh, attention to them at that point uh in favor of that you both are feeling the love and as well the uh the connection that you both have into the uh, upcoming relationship or into the existing relationship i'm sorry uh, other than that, uh, the week kind of looks as a week of sustenance in a sense of setting your affairs in order. And that starts right at the start of the week here with the Emperor, where you, Taurus, are going to prove yourself very, very resourceful. And as well, uh, how can I put it into words? Very capable and consistent and structured. It is just all the traits and the quirks of a, a, a person that it is fully equipped for the job for the work for what stays ahead and because of it guys you will be able to structure your week and as well the foreseeable future it doesn't have to stick only for this week i mean your plans may stretch even further than that but should you make your plans at the start of the week here under the energy of the emperor you are going to make them in a such a way that you will be able to face the ups and downs of those plans with so much more bear and there will be no chaos whatsoever and because you are going to be very structured and as well um how, how do i put into what's consistent uh that also will allow you to kind of like clear out a little bit space for yourself to have a little bit more personal time 
done uh, done before here and that comes all from a the time management you will be able to set at the very start of the week uh if there is a should there be any kind of a new project for example or new business venture new task it's very very likely or a new job it's very very likely that you are to be found to be the man or the woman for the job out there at the very start of the week other than this, you can expect to have a lot of things to do there uh, Monday, Tuesday, and all of them are going to be important. But to you, it will feel like routine. You are not going to feel the, 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 the hardship of these uh, enterprises and the good work is going to pay off right away uh here with the sun card going from the start of the week towards the uh towards the middle of the week because the sun card not just only shows the natural growth you're gonna show career wise and relationship wise as well but also going to sh is showing up how well you are reciprocated from others people are uh I can't really say a static, but they are joyful you being a part of the deal, you being a part of the work, you being a part of the team, you being a part of the relationship or the uh how can i put it into words the interaction as well the sun offers you expanding energies of growth and if you do have multiple parts you can choose from each one of them can actually grow the only question is which one do you want to choose also the sun could bring you monetary success and happiness into your relationships through burying down the hatchets okay <clears throat> They, we're not talking here much of a resolution rather than making the problem irrelevant and the sun uh, operates in a very uh, it's it's a peculiar way for our society but i do believe that that's the true way how happiness should work it operates through the cumulative happiness what i mean it is that when somebody makes you happy they are happy because they are making you happy and vice versa as well and it's just that shared happiness that is going to be there in between you and your lover in between you and your family in between you and your colleagues and everybody it just is going to feel like you know life flourishes at that specific uh, time and that could be the reason when somebody can see you as a very very suitable suitor having the two of cups at the uh, at the middle of the week these two cards are very tightly connected because from the happiness people are simply going to open up for you now one specifically could open up more than others but two of cups uh, as a general card affects everybody around you and it is just the cooperation the the unity is going to become way way more genuine pure and as well open for for any kind of experience but should you be starving for love definitely you should be on the lookout uh, for uh such an individual that you can make up with here to uh, from the start towards the uh, middle of the week how you can recognize that person well that is a person who who always strives to make you happy regardless of their uh, how can i put it into words regardless of their standing i mean it will fe sometimes it may look like that they are uh going against themselves to make you happy when they totally don't have to do that but what you may not be seeing at that point it is that they making you happy that makes them happy as well and that should be the thing that kind of like speaks uh louder than words but whether you are in a business cooperation or a friendship or a romantic endeavor, you can expect a really, really good development here from the start towards the middle of the week. And that is not because of your involvement. On the contrary, your involvement pray, pray, uh, played a crucial role at the start of the week. The very least, you showed that you are up. For the task you can handle it regardless of how difficult that task is whether it is a romantic task or whether it is a business task and right after that we do have an individual stepping in for you <clears throat> and i never saw that kind of people in a, such a light okay uh because that person is going to admit their fault uh and i, I can't even name it as a fault um 
the situation uh, was something like this you know it could differentiate depending on your personal status and standing but these people they were very convinced into their own righteousness sometimes well many most of the time these people think that they know everything they know better than others okay and don't get me wrong they are very uh, intellectually gifted very uh, uh, analytic mind they do have a very very analytic mind but their problem with that uh inter intellect and that uh, uh capability to make um logical deductions it is that they don't always go by these logical deductions because the knight of swords it is the only court of sword that whenever they are to make a move or whenever they are to make an uh, a, a decision they always consult themselves with their feelings and with their emotions and they made a wrong either a, a, a wrong attempt or they made a wrong choice they made uh, uh they said something wrong okay and from the end from the mid towards the end of the week that person it's all about recognizing that mistake probably this is a very important individual for you okay because it takes the whole gap there and uh uh, you are to, for what it seems, at least according to these cards, looking them on my screen, it does look like that you are going to help them fix that error. Uh, it's very uh, uh, possible that this person could fall into desperation in a sense of that they may start thinking that, you know, that, that, that they have ruined their life or maybe the life of others. And it will fall to your responsibility to convince them otherwise that, you know, the world doesn't end here and there is so much more that the the, the life can give thine self and uh, slowly little by little i feel that you are going to bring them back on their feet and you it doesn't have to be a cooperation moving forward but seeing an important person for yourself to be uh, to be thriving i i believe that that is a uh, rather satisfying feeling but after that uh, the story turns personally to you again and we do have the magician and after that growth that you are going to establish here at the very start of the week we do have its uh, continuance at the end of the week or conti contiguation at the end of the week where now by you setting your environment in a such a well-defined structure you now have your sovereignty to try out something something of yourself okay whether it is a business venture or a intimate venture regardless you are going to find yourself being prepared and very very determined to establish it which could speak about an establishment for a personal domain which is a great thing <clears throat> but people are going to be amazed by you that you actually were able to pull it off so i do believe that that is going to be something unfathomable for others in your given situation at that point also with the magician should you hope should you hope to negotiate something for yourself like bigger salary sal salary <laughs> like a um promotion okay or better standing into your relationship it's a very very good peak of time to do so at the end of the week with the magician itself but should you know you will become unique in some regards into that particular week and i do hope that you make full advantage of that uniqueness but rest assured guys should your life is chaotic you will see chaos no longer so with that being said taurus that was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then, bye.